Why in the world would somebody spend more than $12 on a pack of craws when they could buy a ton of them for way cheaper? How's it going everyone? Welcome back to another episode. Today we will be looking at are the cheap craws the stuff? This is just a regular zoom speed craw right here. We're going to check this bait out. We're going to see if we should buy, keep buying this or we should invest in those expensive packs that everyone else is buying. So we're going to jump into today's episode right away. But if you guys haven't subscribed yet, make sure you go down, hit that subscribe button. And if you don't want to do it now, wait till the end of the video and you're going to find yourself hitting it then. And hit that notification bell so you stay tuned with what I'm doing. But without further ado, let's get this thing started. So if we take a close look at this craw, I have two colors. I have the Junebug color and then the green pumpkin color. And I bought two packs of each so that I could do an intro where I just let them fall. If you guys are wondering what we're gonna do in this episode, we're gonna be looking at these baits underwater, Texas rig weightless and weighted with a bullet weight so that we could really get a feel of what they look like and are they better than those expensive craws that other people are telling you to buy. Stay tuned till the end, we're gonna find it all out don't click off of the video. Okay, so this morning I did take some underwater footage. Let's go ahead and just take a look at that and see what that's going to look like. So I'm about to drop it in into the water. And this is going to be the, uh, the June bug, Texas rig, but weightless. And as you know, a, uh, a craw isn't really meant to be weightless. It's more went, meant to be to have a bullet weight at the front than it being like this and then it fluttering behind it. But I mean, even if you guys take a look at the craw that's with me, they sort of have uh, legs like the Guggen Squad Kraken Craw. You guys can take a look at it right there. And um, I think I think they're really good. And keep in mind, Zoo made these before the Guggen Squad did. So just keep that in mind. And okay, so we're taking a look at it right here. Um, not gonna lie, not much action. If I am really in kind of slowly, there is a little fluttering action that comes in with it. And it also does kick up a lot of dust, and that is really good because it can cause a reaction strike from the fish. So, I mean, all in all, I think, I think we got a good sense of what this is gonna look like. And now, we take a look at, oh, look at those fishies. That is nice bass bait right there. But now we look at the green pumpkin craw, same exact thing. I just wanted to show you another, the other color so you can get a little bit of a feeling of what it's going to look like underwater. Finally, we have the Texas rig weighted with a bullet weight. And as you can see, its action on it is way better. The actual crawfish and its legs are all up like this while the weight is on the bottom. And you could see some really good fluttering action. And obviously it is kicking up a lot of dust. And that will be really good to cause a reaction strike from the fish. It is very, very known that when putting the craw in a Texas rig, it's really known for it to be weighted. Not many people do it weightless. I haven't seen that personally. And personally, I've actually never caught a fish on a weightless Texas rig craw. I always weight them so that you could actually cast it out there, number one. And the presentation is much better. Now, let's just go ahead and take a look at what the uh, what the Texas rig is going to look like when it's Bomba Magic. Or, sorry, not Bomba Magic. When it's June Bug. Uh, by the way, June Bug is one of my favorite colors. And, yeah. I don't know, in this terrain and in this specific water, I really don't know which one I would like more, the Green Pumpkin or the Bomba Magic. I probably would have gone with the Bomba Magic just so that it stands out a little bit more, but the Green Pumpkin does look very natural. And so today, guys, we looked at what they're going to look like underwater. I wanted to get you this shorter video. That way you guys could get a nice takeaway message that next time you go out and fish, you can actually use that. So the real secret that I wanted to tell you guys, and I didn't find that out by myself, I found that out from looking at different scenarios over and over and over again. A lot of people, they say these cheap zoom craws, they're not going to catch fish. You're just going to keep casting them for nothing. Spend a little bit more and you'll be happy. And that could be true for him and also other people. Well, they bite on the speed craws and they bite on other ones like the Kraken craw, for instance. And so I was split really 50-50, but here's the secret. If you are fishing a super pressure fishery 
or super clear water and you use something like the uh, Ultra Vibe Speed Craw, it is a lower quality craw, therefore it, it won't be make very good action so that if it's pressured, the fish won't be really leaning towards biting it. And if it's clear water, they're going to have a clear, uh, clear view really of what it's going to look like. Also, something very important that I did not do in this video, I would advise for you guys to tie on a fluorocarbon or monofilament leader onto this braided line if you are using braided line because they can see the braided line so you should probably tie on a leader. So I told you guys that this won't work in pressured fisheries or clear water. Now where will it work? Here's what, where they will work. They're going to work in rivers, creeks, streams that really don't have that much pressure that are a little bit murky not too murky but a little bit murky that way the presentation isn't very clear to the fish and obviously the action on this it's not too bad because here they have two pinchers and obviously they have a couple legs so that will put off a lot of vibration for the fish and it will attract the fish to come and strike on these crawls so guys that's gonna wrap it up for today's short video i just wanted to give you guys a little takeaway especially since we're approaching into the fall you guys are going to be fishing in those creeks and rivers a lot and a texas red craw is one of my go-to baits obviously in creek and river fishing so i hope next time you go out fishing you think about what i told you and next time when you go online or go to the store to buy craws you think about where where you fish what it's looking like is it pressured or not are the, is the water clear or not? And make your decision based on that, whether it's a good investment or that investment is pretty much unnecessary and you could buy a Zoom speed car. So guys, I hope you enjoyed the video today. Once again, if you guys haven't subscribed yet, I bet you're subscribed by now because you're probably pretty happy with the content. And I really, really like to give you guys little snapshots of stuff that you could really take away and go and actually apply in real fishing world. So if you guys want to check out more about that, make sure you just hit the notification bell next to it so you guys get notified so that you know about the video and you watch the video so that you could use the video for your advantage. I hope you guys have an awesome day. Thank you so much for tuning in to today's takeaway lesson video. With that, hope everyone has an awesome day. Thanks a lot for watching. Stay fresh, and we'll see you on the next one.